Hi, how are you? I feel like I've not filmed in a very long time. So I thought I would do kind of a, I'm posting this after the holiday, so I'm not trying to make it too holiday-ish, but it is when I'm filming. Christmas Eve, Eve, December 23rd, 2022. And Matt went to work for the first time. And it is a weird weather day here in Virginia. So it has rained like probably two inches of rain yesterday. We woke up and it was 45 degrees at 7 a.m. And then by 10 a.m. it dropped to 25 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's very weird and it's very windy. So Matt literally drove off within five minutes, the power went out. I texted him, power's out, power's back on. And then, look at honey. And then literally it went out again and it's been out, it's about yeah. 45 minutes. So I figured I'd film. He's on his way back home. But there are like, I'm folding some laundry here. Tilly's laying on the floor. She could really use a nap. But there's absolutely no way I could get her in her, because I nurse her to sleep. There's no way I could get her to take a nap and Paul be down here by himself. Well, I mean, I'm sure there is a way. I don't feel comfortable doing it. So I've got her here. We're kind of just waiting for Matt. So I figured I'd update as I've got these two little hooligans and I'm trying to do diapers, full cloth diapers. So kind of starting back to November, we had Friendsgiving and we had a lot of people in the house and I, Felt like I was getting kind of sick and then I got my flu shot and COVID booster at the same time. That's what I did when I was pregnant and didn't have any problems. Immediately got sick. Like within hours got home and was like, oh my God, fever sick. So I was sick with like a really bad cough. It's not from the vaccines. I clearly had something. When I was driving there to get the vaccines, I had like a tickle in my throat. So whatever I had, the shots just like made it, made it worse basically. Oh, yeah, that's a cool Yeah, look at this for sissy. So... I got sick. I don't think anybody else got sick. It was just me. Then we had Thanksgiving. We had um, just a family friend come over for Thanksgiving. It was really nice and quiet. And that Sunday after Thanksgiving, Paul struck a fever. Now Matt was supposed to have his hip replacement. Well, he did. He had his hip replacement surgery scheduled for the 30th, the Wednesday after Thanksgiving. And we obviously, Paul had a fever. So I couldn't go to the hospital or have my friends watch him who have kid, little kids. So we had Matt's parents come. They stayed in a hotel, which was nice with all the chaos going on. I didn't have to worry about feeding people breakfast and showers and bedding and stuff. Um, and Matt's parents took him to his surgery, which is about an hour, 15, 20 minutes away. So it was actually nice because my plan was to... I have a girlfriend that was close to the hospital. We were going to camp out there with her little kids and I was going to go to the hospital, drop Matt off, sit with him, you know, whatever. So I didn't have to do that. We just stayed here. Um, Matt's surgery went really, really well. He's doing awesome. He's walking around. He has a cane. He started with the walker. That was cane. We already had our two week post-op. The surgery the, went great. His incision looks amazing. And I think the next appointment he has is mid January and they do an x-ray just to make sure everything's going well. He's walking. They had him walking right away. So that's going well. Matt's parents hung out till Friday. And as they were here Friday, Tilly started getting goop in her eye and I was like, oh boy, she's getting sick. They left Sunday. I struck a fever, did not feel well. Now we had COVID tests here that we got free from the government, but they had expired in July. I did take one and it said negative. So I was like, okay, whatever. Then, so what am I up to? And then sometime in mid-December, Matt got sick. And it was right when he was going to go back to work. So he was going to be out of work for two weeks and then uh, go back into work. And right the night before, I was like, you should COVID test yourself. Oh, no, no, no. He went to the, he went right, he got sick on a Sunday. Sorry, it's confusing. He got sick on a Sunday night and Monday, he's like, I'm not messing around. I'm going right to the doctor. And I was like, I'm not going to do anything. It's a viral infection. So he went to the doctor that's daddy. Okay, to be continued. Matt is home. Hopefully the generator will go up. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> so timeline, Matt gets sick after his surgery. We find out that it's COVID. So my parents were supposed to come before Christmas and right? Yeah. And they were going to leave Christmas Eve. So obviously they're not coming, which really sucks because I have not seen my parents since September. They were supposed to come in November. I was sick. They are coming for an extended period of time now after Christmas. 
Matt's parents are, my deal is I don't want anybody here Christmas morning. That's my special thing with my kiddos. So no overnight guests here. So Matt's parents are coming the Monday after Thanksgiving, the 26th, they're leaving the 28th. So they're just here for a couple days. I'm sure they've had our fill of us because they've been here. This will be their third time in six weeks. So then my parents are coming the 20, that Wednesday and they're staying through New Year's and leaving Monday, I believe. So they will stay here for a bit, which is nice. Get some visit time in. Kind of does stink though, because it's after the holidays, because I don't know how you guys feel, but like once it's Christmas day, I'm 100% over it. I'm one of those people, I don't do it out of like sheer laziness, but I'd be very, very tempted to take the Christmas tree down Christmas day, because I'm just over it. I'm over it. There's like so many decorations and then all the presents. My husband likes to leave his under the tree until I basically put them on the stairs and tell him to put them away. One of those. So that is an update with the illnesses. Um, like I said, Matt tested positive for COVID, so I'm pretty sure all of us had COVID. That's probably what we had right after Thanksgiving. Somehow Matt's parents didn't get COVID, even though Paul was literally like coughing in their face. Can you say hi? I got little Amazon bows. No, let me rephrase. I got bows on Amazon. She is. I don't know if you can see it. It's not standing up very well. She needs a little bit of more hair, don't you? Yeah, you do. Hopefully that's not too loud, but she's playing with one of her toys. And she seems preoccupied. Okay. Uh, so I have a little list of things that I wanted to talk about. Christmas plans. Um, we're just hanging out here. So Christmas Eve, I'm going to do a dinner. I plan, we'll see how this goes because it's supposed to be very, very cold tomorrow. I plan on doing an earlier dinner so that after we have dinner, we can all pack up in the van and go look at Christmas lights before anybody falls asleep in my car. That's what I'm hoping. We'll see if that actually happens. Christmas day, we're gonna open presents and I don't feel like doing a big meal again for us. Oh, so let me rephrase. The whole Christmas Eve, are gonna do a butcher box ham that I got a couple months ago. I have freezer mashed potatoes that are thawing. I'm just gonna whip up some glazed carrots and just do frozen green beans and I bought dinner rolls to make my life easy. So then Christmas morning, I was looking for Annie's cinnamon rolls. I did not get to go to Costco again before the holidays. They used to have a pack of like three or four of those Annie tubes. I vividly remember last year, it was in a Costco haul video I did. It was $10. I, my Costco's haven't had it, so I don't know how much it is if they even had it. I couldn't even find them at the grocery stores. My grocery store actually had a sale on them last week. So I went to go get Annie's cinnamon rolls and they didn't have any because they're on sale. So I just got Pillsbury, that's what we're doing for breakfast. And dinner on Christmas day, I'm doing stromboli. I got some pepperoni, I got some pre-made dough. I don't know why, I was just struck me, I was like, that's what I wanna do. Cause I don't want a lot of leftovers because the day after Christmas, we then have um, family in the house for eight days. I do have a freezer lasagna I plan on doing. I have raviolis in the freezer that just need sauce, but I also plan on, since they're staying in a hotel, I think they're coming with timing with when they can check in with the hotel. So I have some time. My plan is to go to Costco on the 26th, early in the morning before they get here, just to get, like, I don't have enough to feed all these people. I need bread, lunch meat, chips. I'm probably going to get some of the pre-made dinners, frozen pizza, maybe, stuff like that. Tilly is crawling right on cue <laughs> she got two bottom teeth I don't know if I should have video with that she got her two bottom teeth in the beginning of November and then like right after Thanksgiving she was like I'm crawling so she's been crawling with a vengeance nine months crawling Paul didn't crawl till he was like almost a year so she's a little ahead of him or a lot ahead of him so one day it was about a week and a half ago I went into the pantry to get Paul a pack of peanut butter crackers just to make my life easy so he'd get a snack. I picked it up and it was like rough and I looked and it was like there was like a hole in it and I was like that's really weird who would do that and then I looked closer and realized that someone had eaten a hole in it aka a mouse and that's when I found the mouse droppings and so I had to anything that was like snacks like cliff bars 
fig bars, all of that I went through and mice really creeped me out. So anything that remotely looked like it had mice droppings in it, like bins of snacks, I just threw them away. I just threw them away, threw them away. So, and anything that looked like it was fine, I put in just one big plastic bin with a lid. That's what we've got now. Everything else, all the boxes of crackers and stuff went in mason jars. They had apparently perched, I have like these binders of recipes. They perched themselves on top of my binders of recipes and pooped and ate. So I just threw those on the deck. That's where they are right now. I need to deal with them. It's honestly, my recipe books are just printouts. So I don't know if I want to go through the effort of cleaning them. They've been outside now for over a week if it's fine or if I just want to chuck them and deal with just electronic. There was like a couple recipes in there that were my mom's that I really like and I honestly just put them on my blog, missyjwhite.com. Also for me, because like one of them is my mom's sugar cookie recipe, which I absolutely love. Another one that I can think of is my mom's spritz cookies for the cookie gun. I didn't do it this year, but she gave me her recipe. I'll have to look. So I'll save things like that, but I think any other printouts I'm just going to toss, to be honest. Because, like I said, mice grossed me out. So that was the mice situation. <clears throat> Matt obviously is recovering from COVID and hip surgery, so he wasn't all about going up crawling in the attics and setting traps. So we put two sticky traps. I know some people are really weird about trapping um, under the sink, because I think that's where they were coming in. But um, we didn't get any hits. There was nothing on it, no cheese or peanut butter or anything. And that's the extent of all we did. I just removed their food supply so they stopped really coming down, but I know they're there. I can hear them in the roof or in the ceilings at night, especially like when I was doing my wrapping video. I can hear them running across. It's so gross. Um, one of the things that I'm doing right now is I'm folding cloth diapers and I'm taking apart Paul's. So here are Paul's KiwiCo diapers. I was stuffing them with these liners, which I'm taking out and using on Tilly right now. I got them on Etsy. It's like just Two things of cotton and that surged together. And then these are the hemp liners by Thirsty. I'm not using on her, using them on her just yet. I'm saving them. And then this folded thing up is actually just my husband's t-shirts that I cut the sleeves off. I am saving those for Tilly. I have enough of those for her right now, but those are in perfectly good condition. These on the other hand, I did a video all about cloth diapers. The elastic here is completely shot. So it wasn't doing a good fit on Paul and he was leaking in these. Unless I changed him literally like every other hour. It seemed like if I changed him every 90 minutes, he could wear these during the day. We've always done disposables at night. And I was just like, you know what? This is just a pain in the butt because I was changing his clothes constantly. So I stopped cloth diapering him. He is about to turn three in a month and we just started wanting to sit on the toilet. He sits on the toilet and looks at books. <laughs> Totally sit my thing. Looks at books or I let him look at the iPad. I feel like the interest is there. It's starting, so hopefully we'll start potty training him soon and it won't be a big issue. But right now he's just in pull-ups during the day and I put him in a little bit of experimenting. I was doing pull-ups night and day and he was flooding his diaper at night. And then when my girlfriends told me the pull-ups don't hold as much as diapers, so she did pull-ups during the day and diapers at night. So that is what I'm doing with Paul. So he's in diaper or in pull-ups, which we call underpants. So I'm just taking apart all his diapers, putting the cotton, the thirsties in the basement. And then these I'm going to put up on a local Facebook free or trade. I don't need anything for them. I'm just going to say these are cloth diapers. They're like, as you can see, totally clean. Um, somebody just, somebody who knows what they're doing can do this. Uh, you just take the elastic out and put new elastic in, I guess. I have enough for Tilly, the cute, the, what is this, Mama Koala. They have on Amazon another type of Mama Koala, it's called 2.0, and it is slightly different. The inside fabric's a little different, um, it's, it just fits nicer, and they fit really nice on Tilly. I put one of those on her Christmas wish list, so we'll see if um, any relatives bite on giving her cloth diapers for Christmas. <laughs> if not, I think I'm going to buy one more thing of those and call that a day. I have so much stuff that I've been putting on free or trade Facebook pages lately and so much stuff getting out of my house and hopefully in hands of people that would like it. I did Christmas decorations. I got rid of her bassinet. Um, I have baby clothes I need to post on there and I'm going to do a post for these cloth diapers as well. So it makes me feel better that at least somebody's taking them and using them maybe. I did not do Vlogmas this year. Obviously I have been missing. I had decided before that I wasn't going to do Vlogmas. It was just too crazy with the little kiddos. One day I'd love to get back into that because it was fun. Um, sometimes my videos get long and it was the just trying to keep up with editing 
filming, editing, and posting the same day, I had to make the videos little short ones. And it kind of makes you more festive because you want to come up with like Christmas content. I didn't do that this year. So maybe next year. And then the last thing was, um, my hair's really gross, I need to wash it, but I cut it. <laughs> I don't know if you've been here before, my hair was probably about to like here. And I was just like, it was just one of the days I didn't think about it. I, went, I cut my own hair anyway, but I went in the bathroom and I was about to wash my hair and I was like, you know what? My hair is just getting on my nerves. It's like Tilly pulls on it. Um, I don't have postpartum hair thinning per se, but my hair is just really broken and just crazy. So I was just like, boop, cut my hair. I really want to make deviled eggs for tomorrow. And I'd love to make some, we need to make cookies for Santa. So I'll probably just do, I don't know if this is a day in the life, probably not, cause it's been too insane. We'll just call this like an update video, a holiday update video. Um, <laughs> tell us to be crazy. Hello. You still have that? What do you see? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I am on my way again. Can't believe it's been a year. Riding through the winter night, thinking of my own.
joy Standing up close by the Christmas tree Glimmering light, I am right where I wanna be I'll be home for a couple of days Wander around with you You and me in the cold, thought it'd never be true Wherever I go, I got you Oh, I have stopped running, there is no way trying You better loosen your belts Drinking hot wine by the fire Don't care of anything else It's Christmas And some kind of love, my friend I pray it will never end Do you like to be here too? It's Christmas And outside snow's glistening It's just you and me tonight I'll spend all this Christmas with you Oh, it's such a charm Got you up in my arm There's nobody at the door You said I wish this will never be over Darling, it's time for your present Come over here Now it is time to get out in the snow Lighting a light with you Choirs will sing and the joy bells will ring Nobody loves you as much as I do It's a wonderful feeling from floor to the ceiling It is that time of the year Drinking hot wine by the fire Here on our own we got nothing to fear It's Christmas And some kind of love, my friend Pick up some candy canes And hang a wreath on your door It's Christmas And outside snow's glistening just you and me tonight It's just you and me tonight It's just you and me tonight I'll spend all this Christmas with you